Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 39 in chapter 14. Chapter 14 is about oscillations. In this one, we can see we have the oscillators. The mass is given, spring constant is given, and initial maximum speed is given there. Now we need to decide the period and frequency. So easy, right? This is a function to decide the um, period 2 pi squared m over k. You can see mass and k are given, so you just input these two numbers, get it. And also, this is also the function of our test book, the frequency equal to on over t, so you can get it there. The next one is to find the amplitude. So how can we find amplitude? We consider the energy is conserved for this oscillator, right? So the at the initial, the energy is one half mv max squared. This kinetic energy will convert to the elastic potential energy at the amplitude position. Agree? Yes. So in this one, we solve this two equation. We get the function for amplitude. Input is the v max mass and k. We get answer zero. The next one is we need to find the maximum acceleration. Now we consider for the spring, the maximum acceleration. It's just where it reaches to the amplitude position, right? So we can see the maximum force for this oscillator is just as the elastic force becomes to maximum k times a. And from Newton's second law, this net force should equal to the mass times acceleration. Agree? Then the acceleration is ka over mass. Then we get answer there. The next one, we need to write the function uh, for the for this uh, oscillator. So for the oscillator, we write it because this is start at the, the initial position is at the best position. It is getting the maximum speed. So that means it, this function is a sine function. So we need to find A sine omega t. A and omega we need to find, agree? So A is given, uh, A, A is find amplitude is there. Next one, we need to find Angle of velocity omega. Angle of velocity omega equal to 2 pi f. So input is f inside, we get as a final function, look like this one. The next one, we need to find the total energy. As we said, the simple harmonic oscillations, the energy is always conserved. So that means the energy just equal to initial energy, 1 half f v max square. The next one, we need to find the kinetic energy when this uh, oscillator reaches to these positions, right? Similarly, we consider this energy is conserved. Agree? Okay? So the E total is this one. And then at this position, the elastic potential energy becomes the U, one half k x squared. This x is just this term. Agree? Okay? So now the energy is conserved. So kinetic energy equal to total energy minus the potential energy. Then we get answer there. Thank you.